on a landfill, basically there's nothing that we can do with it. We can't build on it. It's basically just hills of trash, grass, and, and weeds is basically all it is. Sustainability Matters um, called in the office and introduced the idea of a flower plot. When Sari came to us about this plot for the bees and the bugs and the birds and everything, we did an experimental spot. Actually, it's along the road for people to stop and see and identify what flowers are blooming and what's happening. We decided we were going to have a party at the landfill and have an opening day, invite the community to explain to them what we're doing and we invited them to plant flower seeds. Once we get into where we can do a five acre and that's going to be stabilized for the rest of its life, then this will go on it and continue to grow. So far, everything looks really good this year. We've got a little grass problem, and you know, this is an experimental. This is something that we're gonna have to fight through. So at first, the guys here, our employees, they were like, oh, this thing's not gonna work out. It's not gonna bloom. Eventually, the flowers started popping up, and the guys would ride by and send me pictures. Hey, you've got flowers blooming. So they were pretty excited about it. I've seen people go by and stop, read the sign, get out, walk up to the sign, and then try to figure out what flowers are growing. And then they go on, and a lot of times you'll see the same person a couple weeks later stop again just to see if you can pick out something else new. That's basically why we did the test pad, so other landfills can learn from us. So once we get established and make it go, then the whole hill would be nothing but flowers. And actually that's a standout point because if it's blooming and colorful, then they're going to want to know what it is. And then we can tell them it's for the birds, the bees, it's for the future. And everything just rolls right along and we're doing something for nature.